What's up, YouTube? Red Zone 101. As always, God bless and peace. It's been a minute since I've made a video. Been a little, I've been a little under the weather. Uh, that's to say the least. Friday had a temperature, had to leave work, temperature of about 104, between 104 and 103. It was no fun. Anyway, I'm feeling better, getting my health back. And uh, there's a question that's been on my mind. I'm gonna turn around. I'm, I'm uh, pulling up to the house now. Just got off work. Had to go to my favorite uh, sporting goods store, Michigan, located in St. Clair Shores on, um, well, you might as well say 13 Mile Road and, uh, and Harper. Great store. Guys, if you're in Michigan and you're looking for a really good deal on a firearm and want to deal with some real good professionals, you should go there. Back to my question. And this is something I was thinking about and I uh, thought I'd let you in on it. Question. Ask yourself this. What is the most dangerous or you could use the word effective part of a weapon? Let's say that you had something like uh, this right here. Firearm. I load it. Okay. This is just a 22 Walther P22 that I picked up. Got a really good deal on it. Works pretty good. But what is the most dangerous, most effective part of this weapon? Is it the gun itself? Put that down for a minute. Is it the magazine? Is it the type of ammo that the gun uses? Or, let's say you had something like this right here. Hold on one second, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right down here. Or, let's say, not a gun, but let's say a knife. Something like this right here. This is my uh, Decepticon. It's a Chinese um, version of a Decepticon knife. I think it's made, I'm trying to think of the original. The original goes for, uh, the real one, goes for about $1,100. This one right here is a great, I don't like to use the word knockoff, but Chinese version. Almost can't tell them apart unless you know what to look for. But the, but the bottom line, what is the most dangerous part of this weapon here? Let's say a weapon. Is it the point? Is it the edge? Is it the handle? Question. With both of these, there's something in common. With a knife, the handgun. Remember, this is unloaded. Safety checked it for you just a little while ago. What is the most dangerous part of either one of these weapons? Give up? It's very simple. The most dangerous or most effective part of either one of those, a firearm or a knife or any other weapon, is going to be the person behind it. Very simple. This alone won't hurt you. I can put it down on my lap, leave it there, put it on the countertop. Again, will not hurt you. Okay, it's not dangerous. This right here, put it on a countertop, put it on my lap, it's not going to jump up and hurt anyone. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's, it's not dangerous at that point. But it's the person behind it that's going to either be dangerous or effective. When I use the word dangerous, you get some nut who's trying to be Billy Badass, excuse the terminology, um, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, wants to prove that he's a tough guy or she could be a very dangerous person. Then this becomes dangerous okay 
but it's only when that person gets behind it and uses it recklessly. On the same token, effective. This here is only going to be as effective as the person behind it. Same thing with this right here. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not trained, you're going to be a more of a danger to yourself and others than, let's say, effective. Let's say you're trying to protect your family and what have you. And let's say you've bought one of these, but you've never really taken the time to get training for it. To me, that person is going to be dangerous. Not very effective, dangerous. Okay? So again, my question, what is the most dangerous part of any weapon or effective part? It's always going to be the person behind it. Anyway, guys, just a short little message I wanted to share with you. For some reason, this was on my mind and, uh, you know, just something to think about. Got more videos to come. Uh, when the winter hits, hey, my videos are going to slow down because <laughs> most of my videos are outdoors. And, uh, hey, I do a little outdoors like in the winter. But other than that, I'm inside sitting on the couch watching some Netflix. Hey, I'm good to go. Or YouTube. Guys, want to thank you for watching. As always, God bless and peace. I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe. Um, again, thanks for watching. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Take care, people. Peace.